this video, as you're gonna see, it was unsuccessful, but I want to give you some uh, uh, recap of the whole thing. Two more sets were blown, and uh, I'll show you now. Two. So if you have, this is the picture of the power supply. These two were blown. This one and this one, and both uh, resistors. So this one, and then there is one under it here. Resistors are 47 ohms uh, SMD capacitors and the MOSFETs are uh, IRFP 840, yeah? So these two were blown, I didn't replace one of the resistors and then the whole thing blew out, yeah. I think I, I blew up the driver's chip as well, but if you're looking for information, what exactly this is the topic I was looking for. You can find it, it's pretty old one, I think. Yeah, from 2020, that was 2024. So, two more sets and two resistors you need to replace if you don't have any voltage. Video is pretty long. Uh, yeah. In the end, sold that power supply and just put a regular transformer, not a switching power supply. Okay, go to the video now. Hello, me fixing everything and because there is always something to be fixed today. My DC bench power supply, which is uh, 30 volts, 10 amps, it does not work. You can see, it's all zero, zero. And if we try to crank it all the way up, this is all the way up, the voltage is not moving, okay? Even if we take the probes and we make it short, there is nothing, yeah? The only way to make it move here is to make the lowest possible uh, amperage limit and it goes on current limit even on the lowest voltage which is zero volts now there are some people suggesting I watched a few videos before we start I'll just switch it off uh, that could be a diode or something if you're missing the voltage it's not a diode uh, it's a MOSFET, it's a MOSFET problem. I'm 100% sure it's a MOSFET, it's just there is nothing to switching the voltage, so it's not showing any voltage. I'm not a electronics person, I repair automotive sometimes and everything, so keep in mind that. Now, I had a look, if there is anything obvious, burnt or anything i was using it yesterday and make a popped sound it something popped uh when something pops it's a sign of something getting cracked and i had a look all oh, the capacitors looks fine i had a look on this side there is two offsets or at least they look like could be a diode or something because they're a bit different. Can you see one is square and the other has a, a little forms. And this one, there is one on this side and one over there. I'll try to zoom in. Hmm. I didn't film. Anyway, <laughs> I pulled up the board, just holding by a few screws here. And now, Disorder the offsets and the two boards with the uh, aluminium heat sinks.
Oh, it's cool then. Okay. Makes sense to be screwed in. Oh. oh, it's a little bit tricky. Even with the uh, There we go, number one is out. There we go. So let's measure these two now, and if they're all fine, we'll get back to the next one. Okay, first thing is a double diode. Um, I'll show you now. No, we can't see the writing on it, but if we zoom in, we can see that it's STTH1602CT. Good luck trying to see it through here. It looks like there is nothing on it, look. <laughs> anyway, high efficiency, high efficiency, ultra high uh ultra high no high efficiency ultra fast diode which is dual center top rectifier suited for switch mode power supply and high efficiency dc to dc converters we can see that uh, a1 and a2 are the entering 
of the diode and the middle pin K is the exit so <coughs> we switch to diode checking and we check the diode nothing and that's absolutely fine so when it goes in it can pass yeah should be able to pass from the legs to the middle yes zero point four nothing nothing zero point four should have no. perfect <coughs> this thing is good leave it alone next I'll pull that sheet and I'll get back. You saw 0 0.4 it was reading. Let's see how we're gonna test this uh, MOF set. First we need to identify the number on the top. You can see it's a P75 and F75. And we pull up a data sheet just from uh, here. So, where are we? data sheet so we need to identify which leg corresponds to what on the data sheet you can see here one is gate one is right here as well yeah so we'll write it down you can remember it but just for the purpose of the video we're gonna write it down So one is gonna be gate two two is the drain and three is the source can you see i'll try to get them one one gate two two drain three three source okay you need a multimeter that can uh, test diodes, diode function, diode, diode. Okay. Now, let's give it a test. <coughs> we will touch first with our fingers, yeah, or with the probe of the multimeter to make sure it's discharged. Put the black probe onto the source and then the red onto the drain. Make sure you don't touch the ground, the gate. Nothing is not beeping. That's very good. Yeah, this means that it's not shorted. Did you saw? Now, keep the black onto the source. Yeah, touch the ground for a second. Only this like that much, and touch the drain again, and it will beep. There you go. So it opens and closes. Then we're gonna touch it again, touch it again with the probe, just so we can discharge it. And try again the gate, nothing. Can you see? Make sure contact is good. This is how you test them offset. This one is good. If you have any beeping, like it's beeping like that when you touch it and it's beeping, this means it's shorted between the drain and the source and uh, you need to buy a new one. <coughs> That's how you test the offset. Now when we know all this, and we know this one is good, let's put it to the side and let's go 
and take out the other two. Where's my <coughs> thingy? There we go. Almost, almost there. And we're there just a little bit more. And we're almost done. I'm actually filming. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, I am. Okay, I will continue filming then. Oh no! 
Come on, gonna test it now. <laughs> if it comes out in pieces. Are you sure it's not working? <laughs> anyway. If you wonder what is inside oh no this is the good one yeah i wonder if it's still working uh let's let's check it out where what is it i r f 840 okay Absolutely the same thing. We're gonna test it out. Get a gate drain source. No. Oh. No, nothing, huh? No, no, just no connection. That thing is completely gone. Well, we need two of those. <coughs> it's good that I'm filming videos because I completely forgot what i was doing and where it was supposed to be so maybe it's a good idea to measure these resistors here that are not uh, shorted just to be uh just to be certain that there isn't anything blown up so Maybe 2,000 ohms? No. My leads, I think, are just gone. So it takes a little bit of time for them. Okay. This one is okay. This one is okay. This one is okay. I think I'll need my uh, look. My leads are just bad, like proper. Okay. Nothing. I just don't trust this multimeter. Okay. 
Maybe they're gone. This one looks like he's gone, huh? Four seven hour zero, I think it says. Let's take it out then. I'll just uh, take it out. I don't have a look. <coughs> There we go. I don't know if you can see or not, but nothing. So the exact number
R0, yeah? I'll see how, how many owns it is and I'll find something similar. I managed to find the resistor with some measuring. And this one, when I measure with my old silly multimeter is exactly 40, 40 ohms, 39.3. And this one, which is the one for the other one, is uh, 66.8. Hmm. Should be okay. So let's... Uh, Let's put in these little things. I think this was the double diode. So let's have a look which one's which. I don't really remember, but We're going to be okay with them. Thing like that. And then we have one more. Which one was it? Oh, this is the cracked one, so this one. Yeah? Uh, so what I was doing, maybe here I was, yeah. I'll tell you what, this thing is way too hot. Maybe this is okay. Let's see, you know. Oh yeah, it's okay, you know. Good. Let's go now on this side and see again if we can. If we can clean it up at least a little bit. Absolutely perfect. 
spot on, I would say. Yep, good one. Good. So, one here, I have brand new. IRF 840. I have one to here. IRF 840. So if we can just bend the legs a little bit. Absolutely perfect. Brilliant. Do you think I need a... <clears throat> what do I need in order to just test it out? This one plugged into here. Yeah. And this one. I'll stop the thing. Good. So it's here maybe. This one to be sitting like this. And what else? I think generally. That's it. Maybe just a little bit of uh, ground wire on here. Do we have anything on the bottom? Oh, yeah, there is something. But it's not plugged in. And that's that. Anything else? Why do I remember that they chopped something or I didn't know? Huh? I was thinking to chop it up. But they didn't, huh? Is that the one? As I remember. Anyway. I hope they don't pop. So I'll just plug it in and now see if if this thing starts up or not. And if it shows any anything, okay. Uh, yeah, there is voltage. No, there is no voltage.
No voltage. Nothing. Still the same as before. Unfortunately, unsuccessful. I'll try a few other stuff, but my knowledge is only up to here. <laughs> 